guys welcome back okay so listen I almost got got today okay I almost got got today now I know a lot of you guys have very little faith in me and you guys feel like no nah, KK she always buy what she want to buy you know she the hall queen she love buying makeup and all of that is true but <laughs> Your girl is seriously trying to not go crazy during this holiday season, okay? So you guys know whenever I pull all my singles out that it's time to dupe and saving a little bit of coin is about to go down, okay? So that's what I'm doing today, you guys. I am about to save myself $48, okay? Now, I wasn't thinking about this palette, hadn't seen this palette, didn't know anything about this palette, but I'm just perusing through Instagram like I do sometime, and I see that Lunar Beauty is dropping a brand new palette, and I'm like, okay, let me check it out. It's so pretty, oh my gosh, the blues, the grays, you know, cooler tones and stuff is, you know, really, really becoming hot right now. And a lot of people who have kind of shied away from cooler tones are kind of like, you know what, let me try it out. And they see that it actually really looks nice on them. So yeah, with all that being said, <laughs> I was on the Lunar Beauty website waiting for it to launch to put it in my cart. Okay, you guys, that's how bad I am. And I said, no. No, 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 we are going to try and dupe this. If it sells out, then that's fine because I'm not trying to buy it anyway. So, sat down, pulled out my singles so I can try and dupe this Eternal Eclipse palette from Lunar Beauty. Retails for $48, so we're gonna save ourselves $48, you guys. So, I'm putting a picture up here. It's probably already up by now, but I'm gonna put a picture up here of the palette and we're gonna look at the swatches just like we did with the other palette. See, me duping that other palette, gosh, I can't, the Barrio, El Barrio palette, I forgot the name of the palette, ain't thinking about the palette. I have completely moved on from that palette. So me actually sitting down and doing these dupes with my singles really helps me to not buy the palette to move on from the palette and to realize that I never needed that palette in the first place, okay? So this is actually working for me, you guys. Didn't buy the El Barrio palette and ain't thinking about it. So we finna do the same thing <laughs> for this Eternal Clips from Lunar Beauty. Now, I did already kinda go through my shadows and pull out some of the main colors for the color scheme in this palette. As you can see from the swatches, it's like a cool tone, blue based palette there's a lot of neutrals transition shades in there as well also some basic beautiful shimmers of course you know they have their own little fancy touch to them and stuff but we're not trying to do an exact dupe i'm just trying to get close enough to where i can create a palette use the dupe palette and move on with my life okay <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started because i've been talking enough already as it is if you have some singles grab your singles and you can try and dupe it with me if this is a palette that you have your eye on and you know you don't really want to spend 48 dollars for a neutral palette with a pop of blue okay so let's start out i'm going to go in the order that he has here with his swatches and the order for the palette row by row but I'm going to pull up the descriptions right quick so I can see what is going on. It says, the color story is a perfect neutral combo. We have gorgeous warm tones and stunning cool shades. The Eternal Clips palette is a 15 pan eyeshadow palette with seven mattes and eight shimmers. Shades blend easily and effortlessly with our classic Lunar Beauty shadow formula. Now I have a couple of Lunar Beauty palettes already. I've only used one. I got the first one which was the life's a drag i actually won that in a giveaway when i first started my youtube channel so i did uh use that and it was okay it wasn't nothing spectacular nothing and i also have the strawberry whatever palette and i haven't used that yet <laughs> so i'm gonna dupe this because i'm not buying it okay so the first shadow says it's called flare and it's an icy peach shade with reflect gold glitter now, I know I have like some peachy tone shimmers and stuff in my collection in my singles, but I don't know if I have that specific shade. Um, let me just swatch the ones that I pulled so you guys can check them out. 
Now, this one, let me get my little thing here so I can see. This one is from Colored Rain and it's called Glamour. So it doesn't, just looking at it, it doesn't really look like it has you know, a lot of peach in it, just looking at it. But when I swatched it, it kind of gave me like the same feels as the shadow and the swatch. So let me go ahead and swatch this right quick so we can take a look. Um, I'm gonna try and swatch these so you guys can see them. Okay, so you see that one, it's just your basic light you know peachy tone shimmer I don't even know if you can really see the peachy tone in there but it's just like a basic light shimmer and it does have a bit of peachiness to it it has a little bit of depth I think to the background as well so it's not super duper pale um, I also pulled this one here which is from Sydney Grace this is called blushed very very pretty this is so hard to do with nails on <laughs> very very pretty kind of like champagne peachy toned shimmer so let me swatch this one because these are the only two that i really want to choose from to be honest with you so this one is a sydney grace and of course as you can see it definitely shows more of that peachiness to it so i think i'm gonna go ahead and pull that one just because it's easy it's pretty and i like it so i'm gonna keep this one and I'm going to put this one back. Okay, so let's move on to the next shade, which is called Antimantium, it looks like. Is it Animantium? True Silver Metallic Shimmer. So I really only pulled one. <laughs> it says it's a true silver metallic, and I have, you know, a few silver shadows, but I don't, it's like, how many do I need to pull, right? So this one here is from, is this Colored Rain as well? Sorry y'all, y'all know I can't see. Yeah, this one is Colored Rain and it's called Flashing Lights. So I'll just swatch this one. You know, your basic, basic blinding silver shade. So I think that'll do just fine. And I kind of have these somewhat in the order of the palette, but as you can see, when we get down to the blues and grays, it's gonna get a little crazy. <sighs> okay, so the next shadow is Meteor. It says glitter topper with blue, pink, and gold reflect glitter. Now, I don't think I have anything <laughs> fitting that description, but from the swatch, it kind of just looks like a you know, silver toned shimmer shade with maybe like a brown base or something like that or a dark gray base, I don't know. But this one is actually one from an old Ocalon palette that I had, it's called the Liquid Metals. So this is just um, a shadow that I depotted from one of my Ocalon palettes. And I thought this one kind of came up, you know, close enough just because it's kind of like, um, you know, like a gray based shimmer, but it's not super, super bold or anything like that. I don't think that it is as glittery as the one in the palette, but I really don't care about that because I don't like too much glitter in my eyeshadow anyway. So I'm going to keep this one for now. Now here in my Colored Rain singles, I think this might be a little too dark. This is called Amazon Basin. And so that's what that looks like. Let me swatch this out. Yeah, I think that is a little too dark, maybe. Well, maybe not. But I think that's a little bit too kind of like gold toned. I don't know. That shadow is going to be a little tricky. Because it still needs to be like kind of silver based. This is really pretty. This is from Sydney Grace. It's called Peace. So let me swatch this. Oh, that might be close. That looks like one of those kind of funky, interesting shades, huh? That one might be close. Maybe just not quite dark enough, not a dark enough base. Oh, this one is gonna be tricky. Mm, I'm gonna come back to that because that one is, that one's got me a little stumped. Not sure. 
I might just end up going with that initial kind of gray tone shimmer. Okay, the next shade is called Gold Dust, which is an antique gold shimmer. So I just pulled this here, Lioness, one of my colored rain shadows. Beautiful, beautiful gold shimmer. Nothing fancy, but it's definitely a beautiful gold tone. And I think that would definitely do the trick. His might be a little bit more deep, a little bit more brassy. And it's tricky because the pictures of the palette look a certain way and then the swatches look different. So it's a little tricky. I'm not really a gold shimmer type of chick anyway. So if I was to buy that palette, I may not even use that. I would probably stick to the silver shimmer because that's more my personality. Okay, so next I have two shades here to play with. The next shade is called Desert Sky, which is a bronze shimmer. So this is one of the shadows that I pulled for that. And which one is this? Oh, another colored rain called Downtown. Dang, I was really going ham with my colored rains for a minute. So this is called Downtown. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh. That is gorgeous. Do you see that? I don't even know. It might be too much light. But that is gorgeous. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pretty. Okay, and then I also pulled one of my MBA shadows. This one is called Santa Clara. Santa Clara. So this one is kind of like, you know, the same tone of shadow. Very, very pretty. Let me swatch this. Okay, so they're both really, really pretty. But I think I'm going to go with the Colored Rain because the Colored Rain has a little bit more glitz, a little bit more glamour. So, yeah, let's spice this palette up a bit. <laughs> so I'm going to put the NBA shadow back. Okay, so the next row is basically the transition shades from what he states and how he describes them. So the first one is called Dusk which is described as a matte peach. And I just pulled this shadow here. Who is this from? This is from ColourPop. It's called Sunny Matte. So I just pulled this one here because I thought this one was, you know, just a basic peachy tone matte shade. And the one in the palette looks quite fair. So I just went ahead and pulled this. So let me swatch this out. And this one actually has it's kind of like one of those sequin shadows because it actually has just a hint of glitter in it. But it is just your basic light peachy toned matte shadow. So that is what that looks like. So I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to keep that. The next matte shade is called Rose Thorn, which is described as a matte dusty rose. Now I have two shadows here. This one is from Makeup Geek, and it's called On Wednesdays. And this one is more of like a mauve dusty mauve rose shade. So I wanted to go ahead and take a look at this because in his swatch, his looks to be a little bit more of a mauve tone as opposed to just a dusty rose. So that one is the Makeup Geek one. And then I also pulled another one. Who is this from? Oh, this is from Davina. This is in the shade Passion. And so it's another kind of like dusty rose type shade. But this one pulls a little bit more rosy, I think, than mauve. So I think on this one for me, it's going to just be about preference. Because, you know, I'm creating my own palette. I'm trying to dupe it, dupe his, but... I'm also trying to create a palette that's going to work for me. So, hmm. the mauve shade is actually really pretty, and I think that probably does go better with the cool tone blues in this palette. So I think I'm going to go ahead and keep the Makeup Geek one since it does have that mauve tone to it, just like his. Okay, so the next matte shade is called Sandstorm, and it's a matte tawny brown. 
And to me, that shade, it kind of had the feel of like just that, you know, matte, deep kind of peanut butter type brown shade. I really, really like this shade. This is a really nice transition for, you know, women of color to blend shadows in the crease. This one is from M Cosmetics and it's called Coco. Coco Truffle, sorry. Coco Truffle, yeah, very, very pretty. So let me just swatch this for you guys. And don't worry, I'm gonna swatch the whole, you know, grouping of shadows out so you can see them together as well. So that is what that shadow looks like. And I think that's a pretty good match for that. Very, very pretty. Now my shadows might be a little bit deeper, but you guys have to remember I'm a little bit deeper, okay? <laughs> so it's okay. Okay, this next one is called Summer Sky. It's a matte chestnut brown. Now with this one, just looking at the swatch, which one did I pull for that? This one looks like a color pop. Yeah, color pop in the shade Facet, F-A-C-E-T. So I pulled this shade here um, because it looks like that brown has just a hint of like a red or bricky tone to it. So let me swatch this one out because I think this is going to be a good shade for that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. It might be just a, a little bit deeper, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> I like that color. I think that is a good match. So we're going to keep that. I didn't do too bad with pulling some of these shades, you guys. Okay, and the last matte shade in the middle row is called Summer Sky, which is a matte chestnut brown. And it looks like I have two shadows pulled for that. So this first one here is Aphrodite, and I believe this is from Shroud. No, my bad, Makeup Geek. So this is Aphrodite from Makeup Geek. Really nice, beautiful, dark brown shade. Nice, beautiful, rich, dark brown. And then the other one I picked was Matriarch. And this one is from Colored Rain. So this is Colored Rain Matriarch. Ooh, that's really deep and rich and cool tone. Mmm. I think I'm gonna go with that one because that one is darker, so that'll give me some real, you know, deepening options. So yeah, mmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. So we're going to keep the uh, matriarch from colored rain and we're going to put this one back <sighs> okay you guys we're getting there let's go ahead and conquer this last row so the first one in the last row is called oh i didn't even say the name of that last one so the very dark dark brown is called earth bender in the palette so for the you know the palette the lunar beauty palette is called earth bender okay so let's go ahead and conquer this last row so the first one in the last row is Starry Eyed, which is described as a gunmetal shimmer with holographic reflect glitter. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if I have that, but I do have a really pretty <laughs> gray toned uh, shimmer shadow here. Okay. Or gunmetal as they say. So this one is called Smoking Metallic. Who is this by? ColourPop. Okay. So this is ColourPop. And it looks like a really pretty gunmetal gray, not super duper dark, but let me go ahead and swatch this. And it doesn't have any, you know, special reflex and all that stuff in there, but I think this is gonna have to do for today, honey. Okay, so it is super duper pretty. It is just your basic like gunmetal gray shimmer, maybe a little bit lighter than gunmetal. Let me see if I can find one that's a little bit darker than that. It just kind of depends because in the lighting, certain lighting it's really bright and other lighting it's a little darker. So let me see if I can find one a little bit darker. Okay, so this is a shadow here that I'm pulling out of one of my Pish Posh um, palettes. This is a depotted shadow from one of my, it looks like, is this Beauty Crop Stargazing? 
yeah from my stargazing palette from beauty crop so looks like this one might be a little bit darker let's see it's not as smooth as Ooh, that is darker oh and it's pretty too mm. It's so hard to tell from these freaking pictures, you guys. Should I go darker? Should I go lighter? Oh, that's tricky. Okay, we're going to pause on that because I'm not sure. I know you guys are like yelling at the screen right now because you know when you're filming, you're not able to see exactly <laughs> what you're doing along with the picture and everything even though I'm looking at the swatches because of my lighting is so bright, it's hard for me to tell which one is closer. So, um, yeah, I'm going to hold off on that, but I'm thinking I might go with the darker gray. Yeah. Okay. So the next shade is a matte gray, which is called smoke. It's just described as a matte deep gray. And as you can see, I have a few here to choose from. This is one that I depotted from one of my J-Cat palettes. I think this came from the Hollywood palette. Just a basic gray, gray shadow, but really, really pretty. Whoa, that's some serious pigmentation from a J-Cat palette, okay? I can see why I kept it. <laughs> okay, this one here is ignite who is this from color pop okay so this is a shade ignite from color pop oh that's gonna be close oh that's gonna be close i think it's gonna come down really to tone for me because i think this one looks like it might be a little bit more blue based or blue toned hmm and then lastly i have this one here this is another depotted shadow from one of my face candy palettes the vice palette so if you have the face candy vice palette that's where this came from just another basic you know dark gray wow these are all really really close so it really is going to be just a matter of which one i prefer yeah i'm kind of feeling the first one so the first one was my deep potted shadow from j cat yeah so i'm going to go with that one which is the j cat hollywood palette i believe okay so now the fun part we are at the shimmery blue shade which is called deep sea and it's described as a deep blue shimmer with blue reflect glitter, okay? And I kind of went back and forth on this because the color looks a little bit different in the pan than it does in the swatch. And I don't know how his lighting is. So I'm just going to swatch all of these and pick whichever one I like, <laughs> okay? So this one here is from Sydney Grace. It's called Hydra. So... This is what that looks like. And as you can see, let me see if I can get this to focus. It has what looks like some light kind of reflex in there, kind of like a duochrome. So let me swatch this so you can see what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. So this is Sydney Grace Hydra. yeah very pretty as you can see that one is really really too light it's way lighter than what his looks like in the swatches you know so yeah that's probably going to be a no okay so this next one here is from makeup geek it's called medieval so that's what that one looks like from makeup geek medieval and i'll put this one underneath the sydney grace So as you can see, that one is gorgeous as well. Just slightly, slightly darker. I don't think it's dark enough for what I'm looking for either. Next, I have this shade, which is called Quantum Sleep from ColourPop. ColourPop has some really, really pretty single shadows, you guys. Quantum Sleep. This one might be, might be a front runner, just looking at it. 
O M G. Okay. Okay, ColourPop. <laughs> yeah, that is really pretty. That one is not as navy toned because I think what I really, really need is like a navy toned shimmer. But I don't know that I have a navy toned shimmer blue. So this one might be as close as I get. Very pretty though. Next, I have one of my larger shadows. This one is actually from Clarity. It's called Blue Diamond. This is actually the shimmer that I used in that bold blue eye look that I did not too long ago. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <laughs> that is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. But I'm thinking the ColourPop one is going to be a closer match just because it's more closer to a navy blue. But that is gorgeous. And then lastly for my blue shimmers, this one is from Sydney Grace. It is called JB. JB, absolutely gorgeous. Hopefully you can see that. I'll put this one last. Oh, yeah. That one is actually really, really close to that clarity. Oh, look at that. Those are like almost the same. Yo. <laughs> Very pretty, but yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the ColourPop because that one is more of a navy toned shimmer. Okay, you guys, so let's take a look at these dark blue matte shades. So the shade in the palette is called Lagoon, and it's just described as a matte deep navy. So I have a few that I pulled. This one here is from Sydney Grace. It's called It's a Boy. So that's what that looks like, your basic matte navy blue. So I'm going to put this one on top. And I'm going to build that up just a little bit. You guys will probably hear my dog barking. Somebody's probably making a delivery. Okay, so that's Sydney Grace. It's a boy. Next, I have here a shadow that is depotted from one of my old palettes. This is from my 35E palette, which I feel like was <clears throat> like a generic dupe for the Morphe 35, you know, that colorful palette that had the rainbow shades in it. This one is from like a dupe of that. So <laughs> I can't attest to how the quality is going to be, but it looks to be about the right color. The quality is not that bad. Not as nice as the Sydney Grace, but it's not as bad as you would expect from like a cheap AliExpress palette. So that is that one. So far, I'm liking the Sydney Grace better, of course. I also pulled this shade here, which is actually kind of like a mix between a matte and a satin. This one is called Blue Safari from MBA Cosmetics gorgeous navy blue shade but yeah it's like you can use this as a matte or as a lid shade because it kind of has like that in between type formula but it leans more matte so let me swatch this one and it's very very pretty as you can see very pretty it kind of has like that navy midnight blue look to it let me build it up a bit and MBA Cosmetics is an indie brand. I just happened to discover them on Instagram. So yeah, that is really pretty. I don't know if it's dark enough though, to be honest with you. I'm thinking the Sydney Grace is probably the one I'm going to have to go with because it's a little bit darker, it looks like. So yeah, we're going to go with the Sydney Grace. Okay, and the last shade is actually quite easy because... I don't have very many shadows like it. It is basically just a black matte with reflex in it. It's called Night Sky in the palette. And it's described as a black matte with multidimensional reflect glitter in it. <laughs> so this is a shadow that I have from ColourPop. That's basically what this is. Um, this is called Night Dream. So yeah, this is Night Dream from ColourPop. It's just your basic black shadow with glitter in it. I might have a couple of other shadows that, you know, 
are black with glitter in it but how many do you really need right <laughs> so that's what that looks like black with glitter so it's good enough for me okay you guys so i need to go ahead and finalize some of these questionable ones so this one here where i couldn't really decide um which shimmer to choose that one is for the third shade which is meteor described as a glitter topper with blue pink and gold reflect honey i ain't got time to be looking for that so i'm gonna pick a shade that i just like <laughs> that's really pretty now i pulled out my plain jane palette from adept cosmetics this just launched and i received this from adept and it has these absolutely gorgeous gorgeous shimmer shades in here oh my gosh it's so so pretty and so as you can see aci 8 is missing because that is the shimmer that i'm going to use <laughs> now it kind of you know i don't know it's one of those that has all kind of different colors and stuff in it it's just really pretty and i feel like this would be a really nice you know shimmer to use in place of that since i don't have anything exactly like that this is something that i could use that would be really pretty you know really really pretty has the same kind of feel to it you know has that pretty multi-color multi-dimensional type feel and it still just looks like a really pretty shimmer topper or something like that you know so we're gonna go with that okay so this is aci8 from adept cosmetics so we're gonna take these two away and the other one I couldn't decide on was the gray toned shimmer, which is starry eyed. So it's a gunmetal shimmer with holographic reflect glitter. <laughs> so I have both of these. I think I'm just going to go with the darker one. Let's just do that. And we've completed our palette. So now I'm just going to put my shades in my empty palette, swatch them and see how close I came. I hate when I have different shapes of shadows because, you know, it drives my brain crazy, but I have to use the shapes that work. So this one is a dupe of the Eternal Clips. So let me go ahead, do the swatches and see what we have. Okay guys, so this is my whole dupe palette swatched out. And it's so funny because mine looks so much more colorful to me. <laughs> Just the like slight hint and variations and colors. I don't know, well maybe not, I don't know. I'm kind of looking at the picture now. And I don't know, I guess it looks, it looks close. It looks about the same. I think the peachy shade here on my skin tone it looks a lot brighter you know it looks more like a yellow but it is definitely like a peachy toned shadow but on my skin tone it looks a bit brighter so it's just interesting to see how the different colors in the color story look different on my skin tone compared to the lighter skin tone so yeah very interesting so yeah i actually really really like <laughs> this color story i think it's pretty even with the variations that i have here i think it looks nice my blues kind of bled into each other but you guys can see the difference there um yeah i wish i had a more shimmery type blue to go along with these swatches just to make it pop a little bit more but this will have to do for now so so that's it you guys for this quick little video well it wasn't too quick but you know i'm dealing with 15 shades here but that's it for this video duping out the eternal eclipse palette from lunar beauty 
I really feel like I saved myself some money today because I actually want to play around with this palette and I don't need to buy it, okay? So thank you so much for hanging out with me and I hope you had a good time. If so, definitely hit that like button and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!